Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a new episode of Lifestyle with Dr. Moby. And today we have great guest all the way from Iowa, I believe, right? Rapid City, South Dakota. Sorry, Rapid City, South Dakota. And so let's welcome Guy Severson and learn more about him. Guy, floor to you, sir. Awesome. Good to be here. Thank you for having a, me on your show. Thank you, sir. So, so tell us about yourself. Well, I am a uh, massage therapist for five years now. Uh, my mm -hmm. wife and I own Graceful Touch Massage Therapy in Rapid City. It is the mm -hmm. leading massage practitioner uh, offer available in Rapid City, according to Google. Uh, where we do have a very competitive market, but we lead, according to Google, by over 400 five-star reviews in only five years. Our closest competitor, they've been around since the 1990s, and they've got like 160, last time I looked, reviews. So we are the game changer when it comes to getting rid of pain in your body. Wow, amazing. Well, what a strong work you're doing. So uh, backtrack, tell me a little bit about how did you start with massage uh, therapy? Why massage therapy? Well, basically, we were in a financial downfall. Mm -hmm. And we needed to do something. And my wife had been told, well, all her life that she should do massage therapy. Only problem with that is she has dyslexia. She could never mm -hmm. pass the class or the test, let alone the MBLEX test, which is a national test that most states require. So there's no possible way she could go. And I had absolutely no interest in massage. Mm -hmm. Now we go forward from that to six months later after school, I found out that I had a great passion for massage and it's probably, no, it's not even probably. It is the best thing that I have ever done in my life, bar none, as it relates to profession. And I've done a lot of different things, but now serving as massage therapist, seeing people that are in pain, get out of pain and realize a better lifestyle there's nothing like it in the world. Okay. Uh, sorry, I lost you, but I think I have you. Um, so you were telling me about uh, this is going game changer for lifestyle. You were telling me how difficult you had your financial health, and then it just imploded you in another direction. It took you to a better direction to Correct. help everybody. Okay. So had, then, had I yeah. known had I known when I was 19 what mm -hmm. I learned at 50 plus I would have done this a long time ago. Well, it's never too late, right? There you go. Yes, success is success whether it comes at age 50, age 25, 90, doesn't matter. So tell me a little bit about why should we do massage versus other therapies? So I'm going to tell you, start out by telling you this. Never go get a deep tissue traditional massage. Wow, wait a minute. I'm a massage therapist. Why would I say such a thing? Mm -hmm. I do not believe that the deep tissue traditional massage process mm -hmm. is actually beneficial to the body. In fact, I believe it is damaging to the body. Mm -hmm. What we have created is an entirely different way of doing massage. My wife, my, uh, we, uh, my wife and I are co-owners of Graceful Touch. She had a client come in today. She says, I've had lots of massages all my life. This is bar none, the best massage I have ever had. And it's because we've created a system, a plan, a way, a, a, a concept where people can get out of pain without having to, uh, to endure pain 
in the process, yes. and it works far more effectively. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about what is special about massage and so, how would you differentiate a good massage from an average massage? Great question. So what I would do as it relates to massage is I would make sure, well, I have people call me up every once in a while and basically interview me as their therapist. I think mm -hmm. more people should do that. Because you're investing your dollars, your money, your resources into you. Mm -hmm. And the best way to do that is to have the best possible experience. You're not going to know that uh, what that is unless you give an interview. Now, that's number one. Number two is once you get there, I would 100% communicate with your massage therapist. I understand that there's massage therapists out there that basically you just get on the table and the massage is done. I don't mm -hmm. agree with that approach. You're yeah. investing yeah. your dollars. You're investing your resources. You should be empowered to say what you want to get from the massage. Just because I can doesn't mm -hmm. mean I should. So there's a lot of communication in the process that I work through. Uh, my wife and I work through. In fact, we've been told before that it's more of a sports medicine massage than it is a direct deep tissue massage, which I can I can relate with, although it's not sports massage. Uh, we call it reverse deep tissue, and I can explain more about the, about that if you'd like. But we call yeah. it reverse deep tissue. And it works great. Would you like me to explain a little bit more about that? Yeah. Yes, sir. Right. Awesome. So in deep tissue massage, what you what happens is people use their el elbows and really dig in there or their thumbs and really dig in, really dig in is the operative word. And they mm -hmm. really push a lot of pain into you with the idea that it's going to break up the, uh, the the muscles and whatnot and be able to give you that much more of a good experience in massage. Um, I disagree. They've got the totally wrong approach. In fact, I, uh, during my education, had a heart-to-heart uh, -heart with my deep tissue instructor who said, this is the way you'll do massage. And I told her, it is absolutely not the way I'll do massage. She said, no, no, this is what we're teaching you. Therefore, you have to. I said, no, no, no. What I have to do is I have to take a uh, an oath that says I will do no harm. I believe what you are doing is harm. Therefore, I would never do that. Here's what I do instead. Let's just take this phone, for example. If you need to get beyond this phone to get to me, where's the weakest area of the phone? It's the probably center, no? Well, the center is actually the strongest because I've got both hands holding, but it's amazing how many people answer that. I've got both hands holding, so it's the strongest area. The weakest area is over on the sides because if you hit in at the side, it collapses. That's the same thing a muscle does. That's the exact same thing a muscle does. If you go on the sides of the muscle, I'm trying to get my thumb, thumbs correctly here. If you go on the sides of the muscle and release the energy there, the middle will automatically dissipate, causing the individual to have no pain and get relief at the same time. Now, there are other things that are available too. Such as, for example, with our clients, we often have them take three deep breaths as we're holding. Why? The reason is because as they are inhaling and exhaling within their massage, what they're actually doing is they're giving themselves their own deep tissue massage. Just requires that I have my fingers in the right place, and then I basically do a 
clock around around that so that that whole center is taking it, it dissipates now i go back and i do the massage again or run my you know hand over the area there is no pain why because we took it away okay so you what you are saying is that you apply to the weakest area is that one? apply to the weakest link have you ever heard the old adage that the that a chain is mm -hmm. only as strong as the weakest link mm -hmm. well we're using that principle why okay. go after the strongest link the strongest mm -hmm. heart and everything else why go after that if what we're actually looking for is the weakest link so we can break that down and as we break that down the strongest link becomes weaker and weaker mm -hmm. so so that is uh, true that but tell me a little bit about so what you're saying is that in the muscle you have the damage mostly is to the weakest area not to the strongest or the not necessarily part. not necessarily the damage can be to the strongest area, the, the most painful area. Mm -hmm. But um, if I go after the most mm -hmm. painful area, if we're in a boxing match, for example, you mm -hmm. and I are boxing and whatnot. Do I go after your strongest area? Is that what I want to take down? Or do I go after the weakest well, and work in? Yeah, yeah. But, but... – also, what if you're saying is that the tenderness, let's say, for example, you have the tender point. So one use is they press very hard on the most tender spot for a few seconds or and relieve the pressure. I don't believe it relieves the pressure. Okay, so that's I, not I, the... Mm -hmm. So that's that not the... True. Go ahead. No, no, I'm just asking you. I'm just trying to. Well, that is the traditional mindset of the deep tissue approach. You're, mm -hmm. you're spot on. But we've seen time and time again that if we don't go after the major area, but we work around the weakest area first and then dive in and take that deeper dive after that, once it's been weakened, it works so much better so much better uh we have other techniques that we do within the process too but the whole process becomes amazing amazing rather than being a huge uh pain in the back or wherever it is mm -hmm. so so what you are suggesting is that that you have changed some of the techniques to help we've totally rewritten the massage or the the way to do massage there nice. is no one that I am aware of in that that I'm presently aware of that does anything like what we do. Excellent, excellent. So tell me what are the conditions which benefit most? Well, that depends on the massage. I am talking about our trade massage our, our uh trademark massage here, which we call muscle therapy massage. We mm -hmm. call it muscle therapy, deep tissue, because people don't know muscle therapy, but they do know deep tissue. Um, but within, it, with, there's other ways, you know, if you if you have clogged lymph glands and you're going to want lymphatic massage, we do that. If you have uh, just need relaxation, then you probably won't want muscle therapy, but you'll want like a Swedish massage. If you um, are pregnant, we have pregnancy massage. We do that. It just really depends on the scope of what you're looking for. Now, within our signature massage or trademark, we believe that anybody that is dealing with pain or mm -hmm. uh, a lack of uh, um, uh, ROM, uh, you know, being able to bring a, a lack of rotation. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, anybody that's dealing with those type of issues that are direct, bodily related, is really the best person to learn our approach. Mm -hmm. So also tell me a little bit about 
what parts of the body are more sensitive or more receptive to massage or it could be any part? Well, let me kind of change that question just a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. I'll take it in two directions. First of all, what party uh, what part of the body is most essential to get a massage? Well, a lot of people come in with their neck and shoulders situation <laughs> and they got pain pain right here. so you know you got to work here. Well, mm -hmm. I don't agree. Actually, what you want to do is work down here on your serratus anterior. And I ask people how many, uh, you know, massage therapists work there. And the answer is normally none. Mm -hmm. If you have hip issues or glute issues or lower back issues, then the first place you want to work is the inner thigh. Again, a place where, massage, uh, where body workers simply don't work. And that doesn't mean just massage therapists. I have mm -hmm. had people say chiropractors, physical therapists. They never worked there. Well, mm -hmm. why not? As long as I can do it professionally, you know, I, I can I can get all sorts of other crazy too. That's not my interest. My interest is to help the people. And so in within the inner thigh, you can work that area and make it very effectively uh, relief, uh, re, you know, bring the relief. Once you do that, you go around to the uh, other areas, and suddenly they're not the problem that they were. Mm. So that's so, more uh, focused on what I call trigger point. Although trigger point can also be what you suggested earlier as a direct pain release. Um, I don't find that as effective as what I do. Mm. So what you're saying is that the instead of the tip of the iceberg, look at the r left and right, why that tip or the most tender spot is, then you kind of look at the rest of the area. Like you gave example for the neck. Right. That this, uh, instead of the neck, the tender spot there, maybe look under the wing bones. And right down there. This, yeah, so at the anterior, posterior, and see if you can get them involved into all this. So tell me, what are some of things which anybody can do at home, or let's say massage for dummies? <laughs> so what I, the way I would say that is pretty much everything we do mm -hmm. can be done from home. Mm -hmm. We there we are uh, that that is the one reason that we're creating a course that I want to mention about for anybody any lay person really can do what we do. The thing is that they don't know this information because they're told, well, either I'm going to have to have a real light tiny, a Swedish massage, or I'm going to have to know how to dig in and really hurt somebody. Well, they're not interested in doing either one of those. So now there is an answer to that where you can have, you, no matter where you are in the world, you will be able to help people, your loved ones, your family, yourself, to get mm -hmm. out of pain and realize an advantage within the course of massage. Mm -hmm. So what you have actually developed, technique and methodology where you can learn some tips, right? Absolutely. 100%. Mm -hmm. So tell me and, what... And, it's, and it's, it's backed up by over 400 five-star reviews on Google of people saying, wow, I never knew this was possible. And you can fact check that by going to Google, looking up Graceful Touch, and clicking on reviews and seeing the reviews that we have there. Excellent work. Excellent. So tell me a little bit about, do um, you want to share some of the tips with our audience? So we sh I shared a little bit and whatnot on that. What, mm -hmm. I, what I would uh, really encourage people to do is to take a look at our course. Now, our course is not yet online at this point. We are probably one week out from launch. Can I tell you a little bit about that? 
Sure, sure. All right. So we're we, at the moment, we are one week out, maybe two from launch. Uh, we're working on the landing page now. We've got videos done. We've got the whole nine yards done for it. Uh, so it's about to go live. Um, the URL for it will be stopyourpain.club. Stopyourpain.club. If you go out there right now, there's a note out there saying, hey, guys, we're opening in about two weeks. Nice. I'm, ho nice. I'm hoping to be able to make it happen in just one. But, you know, it's coming. Now, if you wanted to get a hold of me before that time, then what you could do is you could go ahead and jump onto Facebook and, and look me up underneath Graceful Touch, jump onto Instagram, look me up under Graceful Touch, and I'm there and I will respond. I, I really like Instagram. I'm I, That's really my main platform. I'm always sharing good content, really good solid information for people from that platform as well as the others. But my go-to is Instagram these days. Nice, very nice. So any final thoughts or things you want to throw out to my audience? Oh, by the way, uh, on Instagram, I'm pain relief, the number four, the letter U. Pain relief, the number uh, the number four, the letter U. Pain relief for you. Um, now, to answer your question, um, you know, I kind of gave you a, a, a bird's eye view of um, how we got started. There's quite a story there. Um, would you like me to go? Yeah, sure. Go ahead and at this uh, at the tail end of here, share that uh, with you, or what yeah. would you like? Yeah, no, no, no. You go ahead. Was that yes? Mm -hmm. Okay. So when we got started. Uh, also, let me ask you this, uh, because I can tailor it either way. There is mm -hmm. a God story here. We are people of faith. Um, would you like me to leave that part out or go ahead and include it? No, just do the whole thing. How would okay. you like? I like, I respect your views and I'd like to awesome. hear what you believe. Not what awesome. I believe. Awesome. Fair enough. All right, mm -hmm. so basically we were part of a ministry. Mm -hmm. um, the good news is there are really good ministries out there. Mm -hmm. This didn't end up being one of those. Mm -hmm. And they ended up absorbing.